Hello and welcome to my custom PC desk setup. Starting right off, you see me unfolding legs to the base of the desk. These legs came from a cheap department store table I purchased and required minimal modification to convert into my desk base. On the edges of the plywood, I mounted metal pegs which will be used to secure the desktop to the legs. Shortly after, I'm going to bring my monitor stand out and put it in place, but long story short, I hurt myself making this, this monitor stand. I ended up stepping on a rusty nail that I had to get a tetanus shot for, and I was bitter, so I said I'm going to make use of that cheap wood right there. Next up, I'm bringing out the PC desktop. This is the cornerstone of the desk itself, and what you're seeing is I'm aligning it with the metal pegs that I had put in place. I've drilled holes at the bottom of the desktop itself, and as you see, once it's aligned, it's going to slide right into, right into place as a, like a socket. Next, what I'm doing is I'm putting a center support beam, which is going to serve two purposes. First of which is it's going to be a conjoining midpoint for my two plastic inserts, which are going to serve as the front of the desk itself. Secondly, it's going to be a backup support beam for the center, of, uh, center glass of the top of the desk. What you see now is me screwing in the, the hinge screws, which are going to lock in the metal pegs that I was talking about that are locked in for the desk. There's four of these total, and once they're turned by about a half turn, they're locked in place, and that desk isn't going anywhere. I thought this was an intuitive design, and it turned out working out really well. Next, you see me putting in the plastic inserts. As I mentioned, they're being supported by the center support beam, and once they're put in place, they make it so that the airflow is traveling from one end of the desk to the next. I purposely went with plastic because I thought it would be cool to see through the front of the desk and it adds to the aesthetics. Next up, I'm placing the top of the desk, which is the glass, the glass top, on, on the desk. And this is coming from Dulles Glass and Mirror. I'm really happy with the product and I think it worked out really well. Boom! I just turned on power. Let's go ahead and see what's happening with the system. On our left drive bay, I have a storage box because it is a desk after all. Thought I should be able to put a few things inside it. And just under that is my fan controller. It controls all of my fans that are all the way around the desk. You can see from the inside, there's my reservoir. We've got water flowing, nice oozy green water. And to the left of that, that's the radiator, which is where the, the water is coming from. And as we look from left to right, you can see my water pump, there's my, my uh, motherboard, and there's the intake fans on the far right of the desk. Here we have our second drive bay, which has our power and reset button, our extra multimedia functionality, and our, our DVD drive. And here on our far right, there's the outer view of the intake fans. This is where the air is traveling in, and it's passing from right to left of the desk. Now we have an overhead view of the desk, as you can see. Uh, the glass adds such an elegant view, even with my shoddy wood, drop, uh, wood job, you can see that it's just it's a, it's a nice looking look, it's pretty cool. And you can see a better overhead view of the radiator right there. Uh, the radiator is of course the exhaust point, that's where all the air is passing through to keep my CPU cool. Uh, nothing fancy going on with the, the system itself, uh, but basically this is my desk setup. Hope you enjoyed watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask.